I'm shaken by what we're witnessing. The devil's making ground and he makes more and more daily and we ain't doing anything to stop him. I believe what the, what the word of God says. What Jesus says is righteous is righteous. What Jesus says is unrighteous is unrighteous. It's immoral, it's incorrect. Think an opposite of what he says. You're living with the spirit of an antichrist. This feel good Christianity is going to slay hundreds of millions of people. That's what the devil thought. He thought if he could bring Jesus Christ to people that catered to every whim, to every feeling, to every thought, he could control the church. But let me assure you, we've cried out for revival. We've cried out for God to pour out His Spirit. And my brothers and sisters, I assure you, He's about to. I assure you, we're about to go to war with the road. The church is going to become stronger than ever before. Our foundation will not be feel good Christianity no longer. Because we will know the truth. We will follow Christ and we will walk behind the lion as he roars on and stands by us as we stand by him I know the question on everybody's mind is when the rapture might take place and while I have no exact date because I can't I'll tell you this it's soon I read the Bible not too long ago on this subject about the revival because God told me that to miss out on the revival would mean to miss out on heaven and to me that brought a big question mark up of who I was hearing from and so I slept on it and as soon as I woke up the next morning sure as ever he reminded me of scripture he reminded me of what it says directly after the revival will be the rapture of the church but what's to come before the rapture it's going to feel like the tribulation but don't be afraid because our warrior will stand in front of us and he will go to bat for us. Feel good Christianity is dead. This gummy bear, watered down Christianity that the devil created is dead. In the midst of everything that's been going on the devil thought he was making ground but he was really losing a lot of ground Jesus was making ground Jesus was making landslides Jesus was reviving and restoring the church like never before and now we'll have our mighty warrior in front of us but we, we will be warriors in the back and we will be ready to fight just know that for a fact Heaven is about to clash on the earth with hell. Which means that the world is going to clash with the church. There are going to be members of this church. Maybe you never thought would be members of the church. And I'm talking real members, 
powerful members, David and Paul and Ruth and Esther members, members that don't care if you bring persecution their way because they know what's coming at the end. They know where they're going if their life ends. We're about to see an army of Davids, Pauls, Esthers, and Ruths, Johns, people that stand by God no matter what it costs. Just be assured I will be a part of that army. I'd highly suggest you to be as well. Just know. Feel good Christianity? You've been slain. And your remnants will be wiped away. When the dam of heaven breaks loose and the Spirit of God pours out upon this land, every land, from America to Brazil, to Brazil to Africa, to Africa, China, Greenland, Germany, Russia, Switzerland, Every land will be reached, and every land will see a new army surge. <laughs> We're about to see a world full of discipleship, a world that follows Jesus at all costs and doesn't look back, doesn't worry about the army in the back because we understand who we serve and we understand that that red sea in front of us, all it parts in the name of Jesus. Our army behind us, the very angry and very strong, now all bow their knee before his throne. We have victory, ladies and gentlemen. We have victory. It's time we walk in it. It's time we fully believe the Bible. Not the message Bible, King James Version. I know it's becoming more of a cliche nowadays to follow the King James Version because it's a little more difficult to read. But, I, but if my walk to heaven ain't going to be a cakewalk, why should my reading of the Bible be a cakewalk? Because I read the whole fruit of the Bible than a slice of that fruit. I'd rather be able to spiritually digest the Bible and allow my flesh to be told what it wants to be told and to have a gospel that it wants to have. I'm not interested in what my, my flesh wants. My spirit is either going to heaven or it's going to hell. And I refuse to go to hell. God showed me how close I was. And the horror in my heart was just immeasurable. I swore to myself I will not allow it to happen. I will fight. I will get the sword. I will get the shield. I'll stand on the solid rock. It's time, people. It's time to get serious about who we're going to serve because right now I'm watching this nation. I'm watching this world. And the God we're serving sure isn't the Almighty. It's the one who's in charge of the kingdom of darkness. We're serving him. We're not serving Jesus. We're serving the Antichrist. We're not serving the Son of God. And it's about to change. It's about to turn around. This might sound like blasphemy to you, but soon you understand what I'm saying. Because everything will make sense in a very short amount of time. I'll see you next week. Get ready. Because the most powerful time in history is on its way. And we better get behind Jesus. We better allow him to do whatever he wants to do. However he wants to do it. Just say yes, sir. Thank you guys so much. See you next week. Dinner on the solid rock. My ground will not crumble. It will not fail me. It will not see me conquered. It will not forsake me. From the moment I took the first breath of my life to the last one I'll ever take, that solid rock 
stood by me and will stand by me for the rest of eternity and so on. My solid rock is whose opinion I have. My solid rock is who I stand by. My solid rock is not pleased with the social media and the media and the newscastings. My solid rock is not happy with the government and the agendas they're pushing. My solid rock is not okay with abortion. My solid rock is not okay with homosexuality. My solid rock outlined what's righteous and what's not. And this is going to sound like blaspheme to a lot of you because you've been cradled. You've not been given the gospel. We can't offend anyone in the church. We can't step on a little bit of toes. Definitely can't work in the anointing because it's blasphemy. And so you guys get a fairy tale version of Jesus Christ, not the real one. You're not getting the Son of God. You're getting something that man thought up and created. You're getting an antichrist who's behind abortion, who's behind the homosexuality, who's behind the corruption, the loving side of Jesus. Let me tell you, my solid rock has grace and he has mercy, but there's a day coming where sin will be judged. Satan's death is coming. And I guarantee you, it's going to be swift. My solid rock is angry. My solid rock doesn't support Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and CNN and Fox News. All of those Pinning community against community, friend against friend, party against party. They don't even go as far as to make stories up now to get you brainwashed. Don't think so. Eugene Peterson wrote the message Bible. Bible so watered down that there's no food to be had, not a morsel for the spirit to partake of. And it's what's acceptable today. We've just surrendered our spirits, our souls, and our lives to the devil. We're not fighting. I suggest that we do. I suggest that we stand up for what's correct. I suggest we stand up for what's righteous. I suggest we go to bat with the unrighteous, the immoral, and who's behind it all? The one who rebelled, who lost everything, and now it's you hates me and thinks he can defeat God. You have people in power in America and and around the world who think a lot like the devil, think they're smarter, powerful, a lot more mightier than the creator of the universe and the galaxies that you see, the thunders that you hear roar of the lion, the roar of the bear. Let me tell you, there's a reckoning coming. I know it for a fact. Because I've seen it. I try to be calm. I try to be docile. I try my best to tiptoe around when I know I shouldn't tiptoe around. I can't do it anymore. I can't be this politically correct puppet any longer. I've preached a lot of sermons. And I've preached 100% truth. 
but I've also left out a lot for the sake of those in the feel good church. If you need to leave, go ahead, but just know I will not cater to the feel good church any longer. I am going to preach. I am going to preach the Bible. I am going to preach the true Jesus Christ and the true Holy Spirit and the true Father. I'm going to preach the true gospel in a way I've never preached it before.